Hello, I'm Tim Myers, President of First Federal. For 28 years now, it's my pleasure to introduce First Federal, slow to coming to the social media, but here we are. We decided we would start off with a theme of our mothers and our fathers. This is my mother, wonderful woman. She's now eight, going to be 87 years old, and that was a, Christmas, a picture taken at Christmas time. When I think of my mother, I think about pineapple upside down cake and lemon meringue pies, which she used to always make for me for my birthday. My father, who's been passed away now for approximately 15 years, his name is Jack, he was kind of kept to himself, so he wasn't much of one of discussing his feelings and etc. And uh, But when I think about my father, I think about oyster stew, which he turned me on to and I love very much today, and numerous other things. Uh, you're fixing to see all the rest of my employees coming uh, to you in a bit, all of us doing our little deal. And uh, with more, more, no more further ado, I'm going to go back to my music and you get prepared to see some what, and don't you all forget, I hired each and every one of those people that are coming your way and it's been my pleasure. Time to get back to my music, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Chuck Lampy, Vice President of First Federal for 23 years. One of the many things I love and admire about my mom is how comfortable she is in social settings. My mother can talk with ease to anyone. One of my favorite stories from childhood is the story of my mom getting up and going to answer the telephone in the kitchen. And she had about a 10 minute or so conversation and when she returned to the living room, we asked her who had called. My mother's response was, oh, nobody. It was a wrong number. I love you, mom. I love and admire my father because he made himself into a respected businessman in his community. He was not born a businessman. He was born to a family of laborers. But in his early 40s, when the opportunity arose uh, to buy a small business, he took the risk with really no definite ideas of how to succeed. Uh, he'd never done this before, or, or even if he had what it takes to succeed. One of his talents, I think, is, uh, that led to success is his common sense approach to customer service which was treat people well, know your customers by name, and stand behind your products even when it hurts. I love you guys. My mother's my best friend. She's beautiful inside and out, and by far the most inspiring, dedicated, genuine individual that I know. She taught me love and honesty. I just want to say thanks, and uh, thank you for always being there for me, Mom. I love you. My, my father, well, he's shown me the importance of family and what it takes to be a provider. He's hardworking, and he's always reminded me that I could uh, do whatever I wanted. Thanks, Dad. I love you. My mom makes everything fun. She taught me to never take life too seriously. She's an amazing woman. She's always willing to go above and beyond for anyone. She's always believed in me, and because of that, I believe in myself. Thanks, Mom. I love you. My dad wears many hats in my life. Mechanic, carpenter, dog sitter, card partner, etc., etc. Of all the hats, my favorite hats are that of dad and friend. He's not a man of many words, but the ones I will never forget are a father's love will never die. Thanks, Dad. I love you. My tribute for Mother's Day and Father's Day goes out to only one person. Mom, you fulfilled both the duties as a mother and a father to the best of your capabilities. You helped me when I cried, like a mother should. You taught me how to play catch, like a father should. I know this was not easy in your situation, but you worked as hard as you knew how. I now have the opportunity to see you do this with my children, and I only hope they can appreciate the little things you bless them with each day. Happy Mother's Day and Father's Day. I know I don't say this enough, but I love you. I was nine when my 16-year-old brother was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. I was 10 when my dad was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I was 11 when I first realized how amazing my mother was. She nursed my brother back to health, but would eventually bury my dad after a short battle with cancer, ending a 23-year marriage to her best friend. Even through these hard trials, she continued to smile and love life. And to this day, I have never once heard my mother complain about the hand she had been dealt. 
She believes when life gives you a hundred reasons to cry, give life a thousand reasons to smile. The fondest memories I have of my dad are of my early childhood. Every day at the end of a long work day, my mom, dad, four siblings, and I would gather around the kitchen table, say grace, and then devour a delicious home-cooked meal prepared by my mother. My dad always sat at the head of the table, and the conversation, conversation usually consisted of my parents catching up from the day, or us listening to my dad's army stories, or him trying to impress us kids with his poor German skills. It felt idyllic, and in many ways it was. Those were good days. Family tradition is a big deal in my family, and I hope to someday continue it with my own. That being said, my middle name is Ray. I have been blessed with being named after my mother, Ray Nita. Every day I'm reminded how supportive she is to, to me in everything I do. Whether, whether I'm having the best day or the worst day, she is there for me. I'm very lucky to have my mom as my number one fan. There isn't many days that go by that I haven't spoke with my mom, at least by t talking to her on the phone, a text, or an email. Not only is she my mother, but she is my best friend. A quote from my dad is, if I need money, more money, I go work for it. It is something that I've always had stick with me. Even though my parents did a great job of spoiling me rotten while growing up, I still believe in that quote. No one, if no one is just going to give me anything. I need to work for it. After I graduated from Mount Mercy College, my parents paid most of my student loan debt. In return, I started helping my dad every winter on the Christmas tree farm. It was a hobby my dad started to help pay for my sister and I's college education. It was a great experience to that Great experience to spend that time helping my dad. My mother has shown me how to believe in myself and how to enjoy life. She's a beautiful, inspiring woman who's been there for me through thick and thin. When I was younger and even still today, she's shown continuous support for all of my life choices. I am so proud and lucky to be her daughter and hope to show my kids someday the love and support she has given me throughout the years. I love you, Mom. My father is the bravest man I know. Working as a New York City firefighter, he risks his life every day for complete strangers just because he cares. Knowing that life can be lost in an instant, he makes a point to show my younger brothers and sister and I that we are the most important in his life. There is nothing he wouldn't do for us, and being able to talk to him so frequently makes me truly appreciate what kind of man he is. His listening ear is always there when I need it and our long distance relationship is something I'm truly lucky for. I love you, Dad. Sorry, your head was kind of in the way. There are so many thoughts I'd like to share, so many things I'd say if I could, but for now I'd like to thank my mom for everything that I've learned and continue to learn from her and her experiences. When you're growing up and things are explained to you and ideas are passed on and lectures are given, you don't always understand or even think that they apply to you, until the specific moments that you realize just what they were trying to make you understand. Her guidance, patience, hard work, and sacrifice have not gone unnoticed and are very much appreciated. I can only pray that I am able to pass the same knowledge on to my own children. I think of and miss her every day and am very proud to call her mom. Relationships are very unique. I've gone through what I would call phases in my relationship with my dad. I started out thinking he was the greatest man that I would ever know in my younger years to thinking he didn't understand anything during my teen years and for a long time we were very distant from each other. Basically one extreme to the other and everything in between. At the moment I feel very fortunate that we've come to the place we are at and I'm thankful that he's here. Um, and really puts an effort into having a relationship with my children. The most caring, unselfish, and kind person I have ever met is my mom, Darlene Street. She has taught me what it is to truly love and give. She always thinks of others before herself and is always not just willing, but happy to do whatever she can for others, especially her children. She is patient and understanding, which comforted me as a young girl, and I now appreciate and admire so much as a grown woman with a family of my own. I pray that someday I might be even half the person she is. She is a saint and is as beautiful on the outside as she is on the inside. I would like to thank her for all that she's done, all that she does, and all her love. I love my mom.
My dad, Kenny Street, was a wonderful father. I never doubted his love for me. He always encouraged all of his kids to try new things, supported us, and showed interest in being there for us. One of my fondest memories of our time together was when he drove me all over Cedar Rapids and Marion in search of my first car. He was more than happy to take the time to be with me and play a part in the excitement of my first big purchase. I appreciate the time we had together. The most valuable lesson he taught me is to never take for granted the time you have with people you love. Be understanding and forgiving. <laughs> I'm sorry. My dad, Kenny Street, was a wonderful father. I never doubted his love for me. He always encouraged all of his kids to try new things, supported us, and showed interest in being there for us. One of my fondest memories of our time together was when he drove me all over Cedar Rapids and Marion in search of my first car. He was more than happy to take the time to be with me and play a part in the excitement of my first big purchase. I appreciate the time we had together. The most valuable lesson he taught me is to never take for granted the time you have with the people you love. Be understanding and forgiving and make sure they know how you feel. I am thankful for my dad and his love. My mom is the type of person who was and is always there for me. She has definitely inspired me to be the person I am today. She's very kind, caring, and dedicated to her children. Growing up, all of us kids were involved in soccer, and she made it to almost every one of our games. Even in the rain and snow, she was on the sidelines cheering us on when everyone else was sitting in their warm and dry cars. I can rem remember her saying once that if my kids can play in the rain and snow, then I can sit in it and watch them play. And I love her for that. My dad is the type of person I can always count on to fix almost any problem I have. He is just naturally talented at finding some type of solution. He is a very hard worker and always sees a project from start to finish. In fact, I had recently purchased a house that needed lots of remodeling on the inside. My neighbors used to call me and joke about how my dad must never sleep because they could hear him pounding and working on the house in the early morning hours and he wouldn't leave until after the sun would set. Growing up, I didn't see my dad a ton. We had visitation rights, and um, whenever we did get to go see him, my sister and I would be really excited. He's out on the farm, and we had a pool, and he would make sure that we always got to swim in it when it was nice out. And um, when we were done, we would always go inside and get to eat chips and cheese with a Pepsi and then some cookies afterwards, which was very, very exciting for us. Um, later that night, we'd always have my sister go to bed early because she was younger, and my dad and I would get to stay awake till midnight on Saturday nights and watch Tales from the Crypt, and I was very excited about that because we didn't get to stay up late all the time. Um, last few years, well, last few years, um, my dad and I have become pretty, a lot closer than what we used to be, and I appreciate everything that he has done, and I just want to say thank you. Hi, my name is Kevin Gaster. I um, want to first start talking about my mom. Um, she's been a very good role model for me. Uh, she's been a constant caring mother that, uh, that we all need in our lives growing up. And one story to go along with that, just to show it, um, I was jumping on a trampoline when I was little and I lost my footing and got cut underneath the chin. And mom rushing me to the hospital. I was trying to help her relax. Um, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, you know, holding my chin together. And I was trying to tell her to relax, and she said, "This is what mothers do. Mothers, mothers worry." And uh, I always kind of remember her for a warrior. And when she worried as much as she did, it led to um, you know success in the classroom. Worried about my grades. Worried about all that stuff. And, I want to thank her for all the effort she's done um, throughout my life. <clears throat> my father, basically the same thing, he was a uh, huge role model for me. Uh, I would say both my parents worked hard, but my dad worked really, really hard. Um, he worked on houses, uh, a lot of hard labor, and he worked extra hours whenever he could. He worked on houses during the day and railroad at night and just making uh, ends meet. Um, I really appreciate my father and 
always done for this fam for uh, our family and um, basically I want to thank you mom and dad for all the, the great skills that you have um, passed on to me and I and I'm really proud to have you guys as my mom and dad. I've absolutely learned things from my mother. Uh, learned things that have impacted the decisions that I've made throughout my life. Um, things that have helped me become the person that I am today, the husband that I am today, and the father that I am today. Uh, and for that, I'm very grateful. There's just simply no way that we can ever really thank our mothers for all they do for us. Whether they've been picking out our clothes every day since we were young, and when we were in elementary, or whether it's they go on bike rides with us on long trips to Dairy Queen and then back to the park afterwards. She's always been there for me. Whether I made the wrong decision or the right decision, she always kind of gave me her guidance. And for that, I just wanted to really thank my mom. A special dad is so hard to find, and love is described in so many different ways. But with my dad, no matter where he's ever lived, he's always made time and shown that he truly loves me. And always been there for me. Thanks, Dad. Hi, my name is Marcia Carell, and when people ask me about my parents, I tell them that I have the most wonderful parents in the world because I really, truly believe that I do. I aspire to be like them. Um, my parents make me want to be the best person that I can be, and um, I, I think part of that's because of my upbringing. I grew up in a family, I don't think we had a lot of money when I was growing up, but I never really realized it. My parents always made sure that we had everything we needed, and we didn't really want for anything. If there was something that we needed, we'd make it if we, if we didn't have the money to buy it. Um, I grew up on a farm, so we raised chickens and, and had big gardens every year and um, played darts in the backyard. Um, my mom in particular is, um, is my best friend, um, along with my sister. Uh, my mom, though, is, is beautiful on the inside and out. She's very intelligent. She likes to read. Um, she would do anything for me and is one of those types of people who always tries to make the best out of the bad situation. She sees the good in everyone. She's a peacemaker. She's very non-judgmental and the thing I love the most about her is that I can always count on her loving me no matter what. She's um, very strong in her faith and she's helped me to make God first in my life and um, I pass that on to my children, and um, I think that she's the reason that I am who I am today, and I'm very proud to be her daughter. I love you, Mom. My dad, um, I don't think there's anything that my dad could change about himself to make him a better father. He's, he's very smart, he's amazingly talented and very creative and artistic, and he befriends about anyone he meets. He um, can talk to anyone. He uh, is probably the person that I would say, I, if people say I have an outgoing personality, I would say I, my mom has an outgoing personality, but my dad is one of those people that can talk to anyone, and I probably get that from him. He would do anything for me and my siblings, um, or for anyone else that, that needs help. He's extremely hardworking. Um, he always... Alright, for my parents, John and Michelle, it's difficult for me to express my gratitude. You know the saying, a dog wags his tail with his heart. Well, today I'm that dog, just here giving my appreciation to both of you. Uh, I want to say so much, I can hardly find the words. You two are the greatest blessings in my life. Thank you. Thank you for being, putting up with the difficult times. You've helped me through a lot. Uh, your support and understanding gives me strength to continue fighting to accomplish my goals. Without you two, I'd give up. I'm grateful to God every day that I have such a loving and caring family. You two are the best. I love you so much. Happy Mother and Father's Day. This is to my dad, Willie Hodges. Happy Father's Day. Um, he's a man of many good qualities and somebody that I want to be like. He's my role model. He's been a leader and taught me a lot of things by example. I've watched him carry himself and learn how to be a man just by simply being around him. 
when I have kids one day, that's how I want them to envision me, and he's the man I want to be like, and I just want to say happy Father's Day, and I love you. What I love most about my mom is that not only is she a wonderful mother, but also a great friend. She taught me that no matter how bad it gets, it could always be worse, and to cherish what we have because nothing in life is a guarantee. I will be forever grateful of her constant support of me and the decisions I have made. I love you, Mom. My dad is the hardest worker I know. When I was younger, he was always picking up extra side jobs on the weekend just to ensure that my sister and I were taken care of. I never heard him complain once about doing it. He taught me that a strong work ethic is something to be proud of, and his humor is always there to brighten my day. I love you, Dad. I am very grateful for and blessed to have the parents I do. It is difficult to express the way I feel in words because no amount of words are enough. My mom is the sweetest, most kind-hearted person you will ever meet. She has always been there for me to support me through the hard decisions and happy times. She is the inspiration that everyone should have and her hugs are the best. Um, they will just brighten your day and make you feel better instantly. She's my best friend. She is a beautiful and kind-hearted, giving woman. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for my mom. She has taught me the love um, of family and character through the sacrifices she has made. I want to thank her for always being there to support me and never giving up on me. Don't know what I would do without you, Mom. I love you. Thank you. My dad is a very determined and dedicated man. I wouldn't be where I am without his push, his lectures, and words of wisdom. He has taught me about strong values and morals all my life. He's very hardworking um, and has worked very hard to get where he is today. He's a very helpful and giving person. I wouldn't have the golf swing that I have today if it wasn't for my dad. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, hi, uh, this is Andrew Grieco, and my mom, her name is Judy Grieco. And a little bit about my mom, she is the most brilliant woman I know. She has this thirst for knowledge that she can never, you know, fulfill. And she's just always wanting to learn. And she always does everything to the best of her ability. She always gives 100%. And that's one thing she always instilled in us kids was you never do anything half-assed, no matter what it is. And uh, I always remember, no matter what you are, be a good one. You know, I, uh, she bought us one of these things for Christmas one day that we hang over our doors. So uh, that's always a constant reminder of my mom uh, in my daily life. And I can't thank her enough. And uh, I love you, Mom. Uh, my dad, his name is Larry Grieco. And he was everything you could ask for a father. He was always there for us. He never pressured us kids to do anything that we didn't want to do. He kind of let us, you know, learn at our own pace. and do what we wanted and always told us he was proud of us and always told us he loved us and coming from a dad that's I think that's pretty special and I hope I can pass that down to my son someday and I always try to make my dad proud of me every day and uh, keep I always have the word that comes to mind is integrity with my dad and I, I hope I can live my life uh, with the utmost integrity and honor honor him in so and I love you dad and we'll see you later. Miss Joan and my mom's name is Rita. Being a mother of seven children my mom is an organized person and has lots of patience. Her hands-on philosophy was her way of teaching us something new. No better way to learn than to experience it yourself. My mom has taught me to keep your house neat and tidy. She always is ready to offer a helping hand. Today as a mother, myself, I see her traits have been instilled in me. Having the patience to teach my children her hands-on philosophy. Doing dishes and it's okay for the water to get all over the counter. Learning to bake homemade cookies and letting the kids pour the ingredients. It's okay they miss the bowl and have to start all over teaching my kids to keep their rooms clean so I can walk around their bed, reminding them, like my mother did, dressers were made for putting the clothes in them, not on top of them. Thanks, Mom, for the memories and all the wonderful things you continue to do for me and my family. Thanks for helping me become the mother I am today.
suffered a slight heart attack. Now he has tears and he's a crop farmer. His hobby is his farming and taking my mom dancing. My dad has taught me to love what you do for a living. If you're going to go every day to your job, you've got to love it. And I love working at First Federal. My dad also taught me the golden rule when it comes to money. Don't spend more than what you have. I guess that's why everybody tells me that I'm a very conservative person today. My dad loves to visit with people. I remember going to gatherings and we would be waiting for my dad to come so we could go. My dad would turn and say, five more minutes, he would say. Yeah, ask my husband and my children. I use the same line when we are out with friends. My dad is a strong person of his faith. I was taught the importance to have God present in your daily life. Thanks for helping me become strong in my faith. Thanks, Dad, for believing in me and giving me the courage to leave home and come to the big town of Cedar, Cedar Rapids. I was the first of five children to leave home and come to the big city and go to college. Thanks, Dad, for the great memories and all your values instilled in me as I grew up. These values have helped me become the woman I am today. My mom's name is Rhonda. She's really a sweet lady. She'd do anything for anybody uh, she always has for me. And I guess the main thing that she taught me was hard work. You always work hard and you always end up getting somewhere. She'll work most anybody I know. But that's my mom. Love you.